We got something in the mail that we wanted to show you. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. Today we want to talk about this Espen Nesta folding e-bike. Espen reached out to us and asked us if we'd be interested in doing a review for of the bike and we were more than happy to do it. They sent it out to us and it didn't take very much time for us to get it. Uh, when we got the bike we were, I was really amazed. You probably saw, we can leave a link above the, when we did the assembly video of putting the bike together. And since we got the bike and got it put together, we've taken it to Myrtle Beach with us. We've taken it on a bunch of different trips. Tried to use the bike in a whole bunch of different situations and different types of places. And we've put 40 miles on it. We wanted to be able to have, to be able to give an honest review of what we had to see. So let me tell you a little bit about the bike. First thing that we can tell you about the bike, it's a 750 watt motor that's in the rear hub. And it, run, it runs with an 8 speed, speed shifter. Up on the handlebars, there's an 8 speed shifter, thumb, thumb shifter. You can see here. On the other side, you have the control buttons. You can do the power on. There's a plus and minus for going through your pedal assist. It goes up to five different pedal assist modes. You hold the minus button. And that will do a walk mode where you can it'll power so that you can walk with it. You can go ahead and hit the plus button and hold it, and that'll turn on your um, headlight and um, tail lights. When you use the brake handles, the light in the back will um, light up just like if you were in the car using your brakes. You can see up here in the front of the handlebars their cable management system that they did. They've got it wrapped. With the zipper so that we have got the cables all done up and out of the way really nice comes down and you've got an, a, a manual suspension you can unlock it from this side over here and that gives you full suspension and you can adjust the amount of suspension that you want on this other side until you get it to the way you want it or you can ride, drive with it locked in place so that it's the solid. The disc brakes are hydraulic disc brakes and there are 160 millimeter um, brakes that are on here. You can see that it's a 4 inch tire, 4 inch by 20 inch. This is the battery. It's a 48 watt 10 amp hour, 10 and a half amp hour battery. You can see right on the side here is where you plug it in to charge it. There's a lock a key on the other side that locks the battery onto the bike. You don't need to have the key in place while you're using it. There's an on off switch for the um, battery. On the other side of the um, bike, there's a button that you can press that'll give you how, full, how charged the battery is. There's different levels. Along with that, you can see this is the, um, the screen that shows you that's a full color screen. And on the bottom of it, you can see you can plug in and charge your phone while you're going down the road. There's a little bit of an adjustment on the handlebars and there's an adjustment on the seat so that you can get... There's quite an adjustment on the seat and everything. So what they... What it says is that you can... Um, you can ride this bike from if you're five foot two all the way to six foot four. And we're going to try to try to do a bunch of have a bunch of different people ride the bike, and we'll do another video to see if you fit on the bike. The one thing about the bike that people should know is that not only the height that limit that you have, but there's a 275 pound weight limit for the bike. Now, there's a front rack that we got sent that comes with it. That's a diff that's separate. It comes with the bike doesn't come with the bike when you get it if you order just the bike. That's the front and rear rack because it is an 11 pound on the front and it says that there's a 55 pound weight limit on the back for a total limit of um, 66 pounds for the racks. Now I weigh 245 pounds. 
if I weigh 245 pounds and the max weight for the bike is 275 pounds, I can't load these racks up to their, their full capacity in order to ride the bike. People just have to be aware of that. Now, the one thing that's really good about these bikes are, is another thing is that they fold. You can see we'll fold the handlebars down, just like so. The pedals fold and close out of the way, like that. There's another latch on the side here. You bring the bike, you can take and push on the bike, and it comes and it folds right together. The bikes folded up will fit in a lot of different areas. They fit right into the back of your car or even in the trunk of a car. Um, you can put them into storage bins in your in your motor home or in your um, your travel trailer. Overall, when it's folded up, the bike is third. The bike's 33 inches long. 36 inches high and 20 inches wide. When the bike is opened up and standing, it's 68 inches long. There's a 15 inch step through to be able to step on and over the bike, which I found very easy to be able to, to ride the bike that way. With my recent hip surgery, I found it very easy to get on and off this bike with the 15 inch um, height that's here in the center. The 750 watt rear hub motor puts out 85 newt meters of um, torque which is a great deal about trying to get up and over hills and you can actually feel the power when the bike's taking off. The bike comes as a class 3 bike. It's listed as a class 3 bike but it's in the computer programs when you go to the modes and change it you it, it comes as a class 2 and you can change it to a class 3. Class 3 bike will go up to 25 miles an hour. Class 2 bike will do um, go up to 20 miles an hour. My honest opinion of the bike is that when I first got on it I felt it to be clunky, being big, but that's because it's a lot is the, the wider tires and everything it's different than the bikes that we were riding before. Uh, but once I got used to it and I started riding it, like I said, I put 40 miles on the bike. I've grown to really like the bike a lot. I think that it's a really good bike for just about anybody. But I would suggest that if you're going to ride the bike and you're not used to riding an electric bike and feeling the takeoff, is to ride the bike with zero, in pedal assist zero to get the feel of the bike, to feel what it feels like to turn, to feel how what it feels like to lean and what the bike feels like underneath you. Get used to the bike before you start using the power. The bike pedals really well just as a bike. I'm surprisingly how well this bike pedals without any power at all. Um, for a lot of the time while I was riding it when we were in Myrtle Beach, I didn't have any pedal assist at all. We've kept the bike in class two, all except for when I wanted to see how fast the bike would go full out in Myrtle Beach, I took the, um, I put it into class three and I put it in, in top gear and I pedaled in pedal assist five as fast as I could get it going. And I did get the bike to do 28 miles an hour on a flat surface. So the bike will do what it says it's going to do. The range that they say is between 20 and 40 miles. Uh, I believe that it does fall into that range and in, in between that range because we first did the first charge. We charged it fully and I rode it and we charged it again after 26 miles to a full charge again. It wasn't completely dead but I think that it's probably in that 30 mile range and again I'm 245 pounds on this bike and I was using it a lot, using the pedal assist a lot just to get used to it, just to see what the bike could do. So I think that their range limit is pretty much spot on also. The more you use the pet the more you use the pedal assist, the shorter life you're gonna get with the ba the battery. I believe the bike is a very high quality bike and I believe that if you're if you're living in the city and you're going to use it from your apartment as a commuter bike to get back and forth to work or to go to the go to the grocery store, you can with the racks and everything. I think the bike would fit fit you really well. 
I think that if you're going to go camping or you're on the road full time, the bikes fold up small enough that you can put them in different places and I think that'll work out for you really good also. If you have any questions about the bike, leave them in the comments down below and you can, if you want to purchase the bike, they gave us a discount code that'll be down below and you can follow it there, you'll save $50. I think we're really happy with the bike. I think if you were to purchase the bike, you'd be very happy with it also. And we want to thank Espen for giving us the opportunity to do this. Bye now.